Hello, and welcome to Easy Research, the University Library's Introduction to Research for College Undergraduates. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the following topics. We're going to help you recognize the types of information appropriate for college-level research. We're going to show you how the library can provide you with access to those kinds of resources. And we're going to walk you through the process of searching our databases to find those resources. So to start out, let's talk about the types of information out there. Access the internet and you are immediately surrounded by a sea of information. Some of that information is useful. Some of that information is interesting. Some of that information is bizarre. And some of that information is blatantly incorrect. In the midst of so much information, the trick isn't so much finding it as finding information that is reliable and accurate. So as a university student, how do you determine if information is reliable? This is where peer review comes in. What's peer review? Peer review is a sort of quality control process in which experts seeking to publish their research submit their work to other experts who review the work for accuracy and reliability. They check the methodology, the data, the math, the analysis, and so forth to ensure that the conclusions that were reached were founded in facts, sound reasoning, and a realistic analysis of the data. Peer review can be summed up like this. The researcher submits his research to a peer-reviewed journal. The peer reviewers then come up with one of three results. They, they either accept the research and allow it to be published. They think that the research has potential and send it back to the, the researcher to resubmit after certain revisions are done. Or they reject the research outright as being unsuitable for publication due to serious flaws in the data, analysis, or methodology. While peer review isn't perfect, it's the best way we've managed to come up with to ensure the quality of published scholarship. So when your professors require scholarly sources for your research papers, what they're usually asking for are either peer-reviewed scholarly journal articles, or in some cases, books written by scholars and published by scholarly presses. In either case, they want you to use materials that have been written, reviewed, and approved by experts. So where do you find peer-reviewed materials? You can use Google to find peer-reviewed journal articles, but regular Google is going to give you a wide variety of resources, both scholarly and popular in nature, and it may be difficult to sort them out. Google Scholar helps somewhat with the sorting process by limiting your results to scholarly sources, but in many cases, when you try to access an article, you find out that it's behind a paywall. This is where the library comes in. The university library subscribes to a wide variety of scholarly journals and has a vast collection of print and online resources. As a university student, you have access to these articles free of charge. So how do you access those materials? Well, slow down. Before you search the library collections, you need to learn to think like a database. What does that mean? Well, let's suppose that you were assigned to write a research paper on air pollution in Southern California. You might end up with a research question something like this. How have emission standards on cars affected air pollution in Southern California? Now this is a nice, clear, well-phrased research question that any human being might understand. But databases aren't human, and their language is a lot simpler than ours. So instead of plugging that whole question into a search box, we're going to break it up by finding the keywords in the question, like this. So we've removed the connecting words like how have, on, affected, and in, and what we're left with are search terms, emission standards, cars, air pollution, and Southern California. These are the terms we're going to plug into one search in order to find resources. So here we are at the Cal Poly University Library's homepage. You can access one search by using the search box at the top of the page. Now let's assume that for this particular assignment, your professor wanted peer-reviewed scholarly articles. The first thing we need to do is click on the drop-down menu here next to the search box and select the Articles option. This will limit our options to articles. Now let's type in our search terms. And now we'll click on the magnifying glass icon next to the search box to run our search. On the results page, it shows that we got 320 results. The resource type limiter on the right-hand side of the page breaks this up into the different types of results we've gotten, ranging from articles, books, conference proceedings, newspaper articles, and reference entries. 
We're also being invited to sign in using our Bronco ID and password to get the complete results and request items. This also provides you with access to these materials if you're off campus. So let's sign in using the student and employee login. All right, since all we want are articles, I'm going to click on the articles limiter under the resource type heading and cut our results down just to articles. However, not all articles are peer reviewed. These results include articles from news magazines and popular journals as well. So I'm going to select the peer reviewed journals limiter under the available at CPP heading. So now we're down to 60 results. Let's look at one of them. How about the first result? Los Angeles and its mistress machine. Hmm, sounds interesting. Clicking the title takes you to the record page for this article. There are tools for citing this article up here under the Send To heading, and the basic information about the article, the author, title, and journal it was published in, are all down here under the Details heading. To access the article, pick one of the links under the View It heading. This takes you into one of our databases, in this case, Academic Search Complete, and if you click on the PDF full text link here, it will take you to the full text of the article, which you can save or print as you wish. But what if we were looking for a book? Let's do a new search, and this time we'll do a search for air pollution and Southern California. Now we'll return to the resource type heading in the filter menu and select books, which limits our results to 260. Now if we want a book that is physically available in our library, we need to also select the filter marked Available in the Library. Now let's click on the option marked Air Quality Management Plan, South Coast Air Basin down here. Once again, there are tools available for citing or saving this book, but the most important thing to notice here is the information under the Get It heading, which provides us with the book's location, in this case on the third floor, the call number, which is a sort of address that helps you know where on the third floor, which shelf and where on that shelf the book is located, and the status, which lets us know that the book is available and should therefore be on the shelf when we go looking for it. Thanks for watching. If you have further questions about using OneSearch, please check out our videos for finding articles using OneSearch or finding books using OneSearch. And if you need help with your research, please contact the University Library. You can visit us at the Research Help Desk or you can call us at 909-869-3084 or email or text us at libraryhelp at cpp.edu.